hello, this is Junior Paranormal Events and uh, we've actually taken over the Access Paranormal podcast. So uh, just to remind you of who we are, we are... Finley, Harper, Gemma and Michael. So you will notice we're not in our JPE uniform, we're uh, kind of uh, off duty, yeah. relaxing with our friends, but these guys have come all uniformed and ready and professional. Very and, professional. Um, Audrey and I are actually in our pajamas, so <laughs> well and truly showing us up. So what we're going to do, because they these guys have asked us lots of questions, especially Finley and Audrey, we're going to ask them some questions this time. Um, so I don't know what these guys have got prepared, I'm just one, so oh, I'm not dear. taking any more <laughs> What have you done? So, <laughs> just, just so you know, that, that's what that that you do. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so in true, tra- in true tradition, would you like to introduce yourselves? Uh, <laughs> yeah, as that shuts off, yeah, as that shuts off. The good thing is, is just to let you know, we're sleeping here tonight. Yeah. Jonathan's sleeping down here. Yeah. 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 So if anything happens, do you want anyone to sleep with you, Jonathan? No. I think it's Teddy Bear's and a dog. <laughs> Finny, don't yeah. worry, because he won't be on his own anyway. No. <laughs> so, um, just yeah. in case. I'll let our little friend finish. I know, yeah. yeah. We just don't want to talk a little bit until she's finished. That's a sensory object that we've got. It's the creepiest doll <laughs> on a rocking horse with red eyes. Uh, I think we're now going to thank you. Yeah, I think she's done. She's done. Um, so just uh, so you know where we are, we're in Castle Cottage, which is in Wiltshire, and it's a 17th century farmer's cottage. Um, it's very well known for its paranormal activity. Um, I've pu- I know a few stories about it here, but we've purposely not found out too much about it because we want to find out firsthand, mm. don't we? Yeah. So just while we've been here tonight, we've already had a few experiences. I was mm. left on my own while you guys went out for yes. a walk. Yeah. Yeah. And there was walking up above us, backwards and forwards, the teddy bear's been going off and... Marie, you had a bit of a... I did. And first of all, that has got to be our bedroom where she's over working, going back and see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and as was going up, Gemma and Aubrey was going up first and I followed them. And they were going into their room. And as I was going into mine, they had my name being called. But it was Marie. So I turned round thinking Aubrey's going to say, hi, Bianca there and jump out on me mum or something like that yeah. <coughs> and that's what I but when I turned round Aubrey was just walking off into the bedroom so I thought Gemma did you call me name and then when she said she hadn't I thought all right Jamie in the bedroom because last thing I knew he was going game change <laughs> and mm. so I walked in the door looked behind to say boo <laughs> and you wasn't there <laughs> this time <coughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Gemma has to introduce ourselves except mm-hmm. the Keepy looking girl over there went off. <laughs> so I'm Jamie. I'm the one who started off Access Paranormal and the podcast, the radio, and God knows what else. I'm Marie, and um, I'm here because I love this investigation that um, K2 keeps going off there as well. It does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. behind at the camera. But that could be because of the phones. Yeah, yeah. We'll wait to see. Uh, not now. It's no, no way it's recording. Yeah. And and I'm Jonathan. Um and I'm Jamie's saviour really and all the time. <laughs> You're my saviour, how's that? <laughs> because you wouldn't do it on your own after yeah. a big experience. Yeah, that's, that's how it all yeah. came about. Oh. That was all things happened when I was doing an in, invest um, I was doing an interview. an interview with someone and things were happening all around me. And um, I had said I'd done it till three o'clock in the morning. Then I was I was gone. And I said to Jonathan, "Do you want to be co-host co-host on the show, please?" He went, "Yeah, I'll do that." And he said, "He's sure." And I went, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> and That's since how then, it all yeah. started. And then Jonathan started doing it, and then you joined in, then didn't you, Marie? Oh, yeah. So, Aubrey, do you want to get started with asking a question first? Okay. Um. So my first question is. Um, what do you think of junior paranormal events? Oh. Can we say this on there? <laughs> yes. Say whatever you want. Say the truth. 
Please don't do I think anything. I was bad. the one who believed in you all. Uh, That's true, though. Yeah, because they, they thought like everybody else will. What will they do? What will they say? Um, the children, the this, that and the other, what will they encounter? <coughs> and I said, let's look into it. Let's listen to it and see what they've prepared and what they... Oh, oh sorry, I thought I, you heard I, something. I thought I heard did you, something. Did you hear? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, Might want to be interviewed. No. <laughs> um, so I was the one who said, let's listen to what they've got. And um, let's hear what their story is because yeah. it would have to be set in some kind of way. So I was the believer. I was going to say that. I love you. <coughs> oh, I was the one. What was? Ooh, this is a bit because we've never experienced anything. If you think of the paranormal world, there's never been a tuny one. So we were always skeptic. And I said this to you when we oh, done the did? interview that time. Yeah. I said, "I hold me hand up." But then we met years. We understood it all, and it taught us a lesson that. Don't judge the book by the cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go and talk. Don't do what we done. Go. Oh, we didn't say anything on air. It was like in private. Oh, I don't think I've got to do any of the kids. You know, it's a bit. But now we we we've been with years. We've met years, and everything else. We think it was. It's a breath of fresh air to the paranormal world. It's fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, then when we done the ghost hunt with years, we saw how professional you were. How, Brilliant you wear and yeah, everything else, yeah. Today, and and <laughs> even the kids wear. <laughs> and it was great. Um, and from that day to this, we, we it's gone from strength to th strength to strength. Yeah, and I've been well, brilliant. I've had to keep a promise since then, haven't I? I don't want to know yet. <laughs> <laughs> and Jonathan, what was yours? Your answer to that one? I just think it's a really, really good concept. Yeah. And, uh, I can imagine it's been hard for mm. for you, Gemma and Michael, setting it all up, mm. getting over all them barriers that there must have been, uh, and probably still are. Teddy's going mm -hmm. off. Yeah, Teddy's going off. And That's the it. sensory Teddy. Yeah, yeah there mm. still mm. are some barriers. I mean, we were having a conversation before we started filming about venues, and there yeah. are still some venues that won't allow us in. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. And, and, That's fine. And, and I know there's constraints with insurance and, mm. and all that. But most paranormal insurance, it's usually over 18. Mm. But you have got all that covered. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah so yeah. I don't mm. see Why? what I an issue will be with anyone. No. Mm. And it's all done so mm. professionally and, Thank you. and so respectful. Thank you. Are and you the happy? Yeah. The Good first question. I really enjoy it. Yeah, you do enjoy and it's it. It's safe. It's a safe environment. It sort of walls it down from the adult version to anyone who's been on a, a like, shall we say, a normal like, adult ghost hunt. It's mm -hmm. not really like that. It's, no. it's mostly sensory. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's really good for the kids that I'm interested yeah. in. You happy with that? Yeah. All right, Finlay. How did you get, how did all of you get into the paranormal? Who's going first? Go uh, cool. on, cool. yeah, go on then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought they they would be easy. <laughs> I, I I my first experience was when we scare electric went off in the middle of the night. Oh. And it was it was actually a scare electric that plugged into the wall. It didn't have the batteries on. Right. Plugged into the wall, and the. The cars had lights on the front that lit up and it went around the track. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Pressed the triggers. Yeah. Uh, I was lying in bed and it was sort of, say my bed was where you were, and it was like against the wall, and the scale I took was on the floor there. Um, it was switched off. It was middle of the night, and I woke up, and the cars were going around the track. Yeah, it was pitch dark. black, the lights were on, and the cars went around the track. Wow, that's amazing. Once or twice, and then it stopped. And obviously, as I get it, I just turned over and went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that was my like first experience, really. Wow. Um, and then it was most haunted that put me into the paranormal. Oh, okay. I used to live and die for most haunted. Uh, <laughs> I think we've all been through that phase yeah, at some point. Yeah. Because they were there. Lost my stomach. <laughs> 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 They were the pioneers, really, weren't they, in terms in of that way. format of television? I think so for now, for the, the, the millennium, because they started in 2002. Yeah. But 
Hughes wouldn't even have thought of then. In 1992, mm. there was one called Ghostwatch. Yeah, there was. Which um, was Michael Parkinson and that. Yeah. And I think that was the biggest one of all. I think from there, there was a huge gap and then Most Haunted That's come right. along. And, you know, I've got loads of credit. I, I've got a lot of respect for Most Haunted because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be sitting there. We wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah. And there's, there's right. thousands of paranormal mm. people across the country who wouldn't be there neither. Yeah. They were the, the pilot. They were the <coughs> ones who started off doing those paranormal investigations. Yeah. See, they made it feel like anybody could do it. Yeah. I think that yeah, was it. Exactly, and they made it yeah. seem, yeah. it was, I'm trying to think of the word, socially credible as such, that people yeah. can have these... Yeah. Experiences and stuff like that. Doing them lives as well. Yeah. 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 And then you could go to the live. Yeah. 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 But it yeah. just made it. It was more. It was like interactive, wasn't it? Definitely. Yeah. I never seen all that, and, um, so I wouldn't have known about all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's only later, and I think when my experience was just not because of anything like that. I used to watch all the horror films and everything on my own. My older brother, my brother's the oldest, and he would he just didn't like it or anything. But oh, I've just thought of one thing. I didn't realise things were happening. Mm-hmm. So I had things where I was sat in my mum's bedroom on the end of a bed and I'd look into the mirror and I would turn into another person. Wow. Uh, long black hair, my mum. And I would turn, and I didn't understand nothing. So I used to think it was a game. So every so often, it was quiet in the house. Um, I'd sit there, and I'd just stare at it, and I would change into somebody of about, I'd say, 50 years old or something like that. So never thought anything of that. So that wasn't my first experience, because I didn't know. But only as I look back. I think a lot of things were um, moving in the house. Um, I thought I sorry. I thought I could hear. Is I it, I keep thinking I can hear something Jamie moving keeps, around in the I kitchen. I keep looking because I the thought I, I heard it. Mm. Like yeah, that's why. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I keep well, looking to see down the there. Phones. Well, no, it's I, only I, when I, a phone gets an actual mm, signal. I've really. just heard something coming yeah. down. They're not that, they're not close enough to it they to are, be said. Believe it or not, they are. It's weird. Yeah, it is Sorry, fat, Marie. It's all right. <laughs> it was my fault for saying I, I thought I heard something. So I think a lot of things all happened at once in my house. Um, like we had a bathroom cabinet and it had the old brick um, furniture. <coughs> it had three shelves on with a big piece of glass, thick glass on top. And we had all our toiletries on that. So it was a big stand like that. And it was in the middle of the floor. And for me to clean it, I've got to take two of the big baskets off and then lift it and then put the baskets on because it was heavy. And it was in the middle of the floor. So I asked the children, I said, who's moved that? And they said, we don't know what you're on about. So there was nobody else in the house besides me and the children. So you just put it back. Don't think anything more of it. And then, um, then my sister came in the house and she... I was talking away to a light base, but where you are, she had like the door at the side of her. And instead of listening to me, um, she was watching out the door. And I kept going like this, and I'm going Tracy, and she's still looking at the door. And I got up and walked over, and my cardigan on the stairs, which was just hooked over the um, pillar of the stairs, was actually lifting up and down on its own, the full oh, thing. Wow. And my sister was watching it, and what I seen was it lift and then drop. And like that, and she goes, Marie, well, M, um, she calls me, M, um, where's your cat? Where's the breeze? What's this? And so that happened. And then my sister was seeing something walking up and down, and then the fire alarms were going off instead of one tone. It was actually notes, different notes of different sequences. So a lot of things at once happened. So that's when I started thinking, there's something more to this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mine was um, I remember it as clearly as today. <coughs> my mum and dad's house in Highton, and um, I remember when I was a kid, me and my brother at the back bedroom. Something going on there. Something going on. It just the K two keeps going right. on. Yeah. And um, 
years ago, we didn't have continental growth then, it was blankets. And my mum used to tuck the blankets in. I don't know if you remember them, maybe you're not Jonathan Quill. You get tucked in so tucked tight in. you can't do it. Yeah, when I was a little kid, <laughs> I used to love that. Yeah. In the winter, you used to have about eight or something. Yeah, <laughs> and um, this night, me, me brother was a bit of a torment. He used to pull them out on occasions. And when I went up this night, it, they were all untucked. The bed was untucked. So I wasn't happy. I got into bed, went to sleep and everything else. And I woke up, I could feel the bed being, you know, there is something, I'm so yeah, sorry, there is something yeah. out there. Yeah, I've just seen something out there. Wasn't there a knock upstairs? That's not next door. That is, well, the stairs are here. Stairs are there. Yeah, you can hear them go upstairs. That's But that wasn't what I heard before. That was you heard it. You heard it going right there. No, I, the, there is something out there. I've seen something I, I out there. I keep thinking there's something out there. Can I, can I just do something? I'm good. We'll be back in a sec. You keep talking. I'm going to get so the camera and set it up. I felt um, the bed being tucked in. And when I woke up, there was a woman tucking my bed in. Now, when I woke up, you go, Mum, Mum. Yeah. Like that. And the woman looked at me. She smiled. I remember even now, as clear as it is then. And she smiled at me, walked out my bedroom door, and went to the right. So my mum's bedroom is, if you go out the door, turn right, my mum's bedroom is there in my dad's bedroom. So when you're a kid, that might have been your age. And I went into my mum and dad, and I, you know, then when you were a kid, you used to throw you in the bed with them, didn't you? No, not me. So we back out again. And she said, oh, tell me in the morning. It's probably, a, what's wrong? Okay. It's a sensory I'm just getting into. Um, tell me, she said, tell me in the morning, and we'll have to go talk about it then. Push me back into bed, thinking about what I would go to sleep. So the next morning she says to me, oh, tell me all about what you do, what, what was wrong in that. And for some reason or other, I remembered it all. And I said, there was an old lady, I said, leaning over, and she, I said, she was talking to <coughs> me bed. I said, now she was talking to me bed, and she looked at me and smiled. I said, but she had this coat on. And to my mum, I said, I had tartan around here. I said, I'm like a tartan pattern around here. And I said, and she had a mark here on her face, like a mark here. And my mum said to me, you just, just described my mum. Wow. And she said, and she died in 1969, my nan. And um, she said, you just described her exactly the way she was buried <gasps> with that coat on. Oh, wow. And wow. she said, and she had a scar here on her face. Oh, I don't know. And she said, um, what she said then was, uh, she got some photographs, because she put all these photographs on, so they all have a look at them and that. And I went, that's her there, that's that lady there, who showed me in the face. And I, I, I remember my nan when I was a very, very young, because we used to go and see her at my, uh, my auntie's. And I said, that's the lady there, like that. And she went, that's, in, that, my, nan, that's my mum. And when she, I've got the photograph, um, She's got the scar there. Wow. And I went, that's it. And that was my biggest experience of paranormal. At the time, you don't think it's paranormal, you just think mm. it's nothing of it. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, as you get a little bit older, you start watching. I couldn't watch other films. Mm. No way I could watch other films because I would never <coughs> be able to have nightmares and that. Which is strange because now I'm doing paranormal stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I started watching like little things and things like that, and then uh, when, when was it? I started experiencing things in, in different places. I've worked in nursing homes, I've worked in sheltered accommodation, things like that, and you feel you know there's things going on there. And, I, and then I started looking more into it, then getting more interested. And then um, in 2007, I had a heart attack, and a friend of mine, I wouldn't go out the house, I, I, I was. That was it then, I thought that was the end of my life, I thought that was it. And um, he knew I was into the paranormal stuff, and we'd been on a, um, I'd been talking to him about it, and he'd come round one day, and he went, right, get in the car, you. He got me in the car, we went to this pub, it's gone now, the pub's been demolished, called the Quarry Inn, in Heighton. And we went, we'd done a ghost hunt there, and from then to now, it's all we'd been, wow, that was great, really enjoyed it, and everything yeah. else. And then we were in a group, weren't we? Um, and then that group disbanded, and I said to you, tonight, we need we need to carry on doing it. And we started our own paranormal group. And from that, 
to now, we've still got that group together. Mm-hmm. We're, we're still okay. all mm-hmm. friends. It's yeah. interesting you say about the family members because right. my experiences with paranormal started with seeing my family members who yeah. passed. So when I was four, five, mm. within a very short space of time, I lost my dad and my grandma and my granddad within a really short space of time. Um, my dad went first, then my granddad, then my grandma. Um, and from being little, I used to see my dad around the house. Mm-hmm. So he would be stood in the corner of my bedroom and he would be watching me as I'm going to sleep. I would see my granddad. I would smell cigarette smoke, even though nobody in the house smoked. Um, and I used to see that a lot. Um, but when you're little, it's like, oh, it's just my imagination. Mm. You know, it's yeah. only when I'm older. And the biggest thing that happened to me, and you know how you said I can see it vividly, mm. was when I was with Michael and I was just about to change, I was 21 at the time, and I was at my mum's house and I was getting ready to move in with him. And um, my mum's got open stairs and you, you come down the stairs and you could see the sofa. And I started coming downstairs and I saw a person dressed in a white shirt and black pants get up off the sofa and walk off. And I was taught, I was like, Michael, da, 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 da. and I went, oh, I've forgotten something. I ran back upstairs. And then when I came down, I went into the back room at my mum's and I'm going to him, don't you dare walk away from me while I'm talking to you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and he went, I can study it all the time. And I went, you go no, no, the same. No, you haven't. You argued. You argued with me at first, and I your mum went, "No, no he's been talking to me. Anyway, oh. um, then she clicked. Please. Then I clicked, <laughs> and then my mum had a picture of her and my dad on their wedding day, mm. and that was the outfit. Oh. That's oh. all. Oh, wow. wow, that's mm-hmm. like a similar story altogether. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. And then with Aubrey, um, when I was pregnant with Aubrey, my my great auntie Pat passed away before Aubrey was born, um, she was very poor, she had COPD and um, she was trying desperately to hang on to see her, oh. unfortunately she passed away, she passed away in the July and Aubrey was born in the, the November and um, Aubrey was about three at the time and we were bumping down the stairs, so she was sat on my knee and we were bumping down the yeah. stairs and she went stop and I was like what and she's going Nanny, nanny, hi, nanny, hi, nanny, at the bottom of the stairs. Oh. Now she calls my mum nanny. So I said, Nanny's not there, Aubrey. And she went, No, 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 not not nanny. That nanny, and pointed at a picture of my hands mm. on the wall. And then forever, when for a long period of time, whenever she was playing, she'd be like, Hi, nanny, hi, nanny. And I'd be like, Hi, you know, yeah. so it's that, you yeah. know. It's, it's funny how it wow. becomes a relaxing kind of thing, yeah. isn't it? Because yeah. you know that they're not going to do any harm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, my question then. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I know. No. No. So, um, obviously, <coughs> you guys have been to Champness Hall. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just interested to know what you thought of Champness Hall and if there's any particular place in Champness Hall that you enjoyed going into? Mm. Um, I think I think Champness Hall is brilliant. Yeah. The history too is brilliant. Mm. Yeah. I still haven't forgiven you for letting them off the cakes, cakes while we were doing an investigation. <laughs> That's still up there. Yeah. 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 Um, I think my favourite part of it was that long corridor when we, when we went right at the very top. Yeah. And you all went back to eat the cakes. And yeah. We were just there on our own. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it was when we stood out in the atrium. And the then the corridor. Yeah, but I think yeah. There, there was a the long corridor, corridor, wasn't yeah. there? The corridor. And then there was, is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah we've got and we had the, the, we had the cat balls at the top, and then it was a big, long, thin corridor, and then the, we were all at the other end. Things were happening at the top. Mm. And there's so many things happening in there, we, I couldn't get my head around it all. Yeah. So I think that was my favourite, and then the the stage area, yeah. Because yeah. I think the 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 atmosphere, the atmosphere and stage area was brilliant. And when we were doing the investigation with the young ones, things were going off, and I I think 
I think I was one of the get great investigation because they these were good and Harrison, Harrison was here and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and I was and then, I'm trying to remember the names of Alfie. Alfie was great. Yeah, he's so quiet, isn't he? He's is so quiet, but yeah. he's very good. Yes, yeah. he's very very good. Yeah. They all were. Yeah. So because I can't remember the names, but yeah, I think that was my favourite part was that long corridor. Sleepy time. We've got to come back and do the rest of it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I liked the big stairway at the top, the atrium, where it's got the, the level yeah. that you can see, yeah, the atrium. Because I felt um, that there will be things there, um, especially, I think it's the uh, the upper, the uh, higher, <coughs> and I just felt different in that area, but I felt like there was too many people at the time, and I kept going back to it, and I don't know why I felt more drawn back, mm. but then... Besides that, it's the hall. Yeah, the hall is just amazing and what goes up. And especially in the little, little bit under the stairs and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, brilliant place. I like the spooky corridor. Yeah, it's spooky corridor. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing, yeah. 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 I love the whole place, but that's funny. It's spooky yeah. corridor. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It was spooky. It is, but yeah, it's called spooky yeah. corridor for a reason. It is. And once you go to the bottom of it, oh, it's... you can't get out yeah. <laughs> without coming past no, everything. No. Yeah. yeah, it is spooky at two o'clock in the morning on your own. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock in the morning on your own. It, no. That's the interesting hour to be at. Mm. Yeah. And you can hear the you can hear doors banging. Doors banging, yeah. footsteps. I set the camera one. up, and I think he was on one of the live feeds. You hear the door go. Right. And I walked up because I'm like, who's messing with the door at the end? And then I'm on the walkie-talkie. Where are you? I'm back up at our office again. Oh, but you're up at our office. He was there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. I know. It wouldn't have been there. <laughs> your turn. Uh, my turn. Right. How old are you all? No. Twenty one. Two hundred and eighteen. Is there anywhere personally where you would love to investigate? Anywhere, in the, anywhere in the world where you feel like you would love to just go and the one that I want to go to, it's on my bucket list is Alcatraz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Alcatraz, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah much, that's my bucket list yeah. one. Yeah. Mm. Well, we found out how much that one is. So how much? Yeah. So that won't. So that won't be on our bucket list. It's <laughs> off the list. Off the list. <laughs> I'll go on my own. <laughs> it's off the unless, list, but it's on the list. Unless somebody yeah. wins the super jackpot. Yeah. 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 Isn't it? Isn't it like three hundred and seventeen million or something like that? Uh, the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> not uh, not, not, the, not <laughs> I'd buy it for yeah. that. Yeah. But but I know the euro millions is like one hundred and nine. Oh, it's only yeah. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, that's oh. what we're doing. Isn't it? <laughs> Where would mine be? I'd, I'd like Alcatraz. Um, I think it's the the asylum what they all do. You know these these series is um, series is that the word? Series is series. Is, 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 yeah. All different series. Yeah. Um, and I can't think of the name is of the asylum. Is it called the Pe- is it Penn State? Penn. Yeah, Penn, um, Penn State Penatorium. Penn State Penitentiary like is that the You don't know. Yeah. 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 You know what, you can't investigate there anymore. Can't you? Oh. Uh-huh. Is there any way that I can choose that? We can go. Shall sure, sure, sure we just all fly over that? Sneak uh, in. Apparently we've stopped. We was in a, another... We were having a chat with somebody and they said they've stopped doing paranormal stuff at it now oh. for oh. other things that they oh. get more apparently <laughs> but oh, <okay. laughs> uh, uh, mine yeah. is, is the proper conjuring hedge oh. you introduced me to the conjuring the other which is open to investigation it's open to investigation because other companies do sleep overs at sleep over yeah. 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 the um, other one is um, the Amityville Ah, uh, the house there. See, I don't know if that is. It's a real house, obviously. Yeah. But is it uh, what so it is, or is it just made more with? We've heard because the, the one with the conjuring things. house it is based. 
Those of, a, of, a <coughs> of an investigation that was done by. Might have been Mary. Yeah, I heard him. No, it wasn't that. It was. That's Dean. Yeah. I think the um, the country now would be a good one. Yeah, but there's there's so many out there. You, you, you yeah. can't. It's hard to choose it one. Is. To choose one, yeah, because you think that one, and he goes country now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, I would love to do the Winchester Mansion. So oh, that's the one. Right. It was Sarah Winchester who oh, was. Well, you could never get out. Heiress of the <laughs> Winchester, you know, the Winchester Rifles, and she yeah. kept on building this I house. Think, I, it was she, guilt, wasn't it? Yeah, it was guilt. Guilt. I've seen a yeah. program on but that. But nothing yeah. makes yeah. sense in it. No, but she at felt all. bad. That the yeah, wind, wasn't just, it? Isn't the door upstairs? But when you open the wall, the there's nothing there. Yeah, yeah. and then the yeah. corridors are really. It's like a fun house. Yeah. Well, she she done it, didn't she? Because. They, they were so sad that the Winchester Gullness caused so many yeah. deaths yeah. and things like she that. Yeah, she built everything in the and wall. And she felt yeah, that yeah. everybody who died was going to come back and haunt them. Yeah. yeah. So she built doors going nowhere, so they, they confused the spirits. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. That's why it was done. But she built and built and built and built and built. Up, yeah. 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 I had click as well. And I would love to do the Tower of London. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Can, right. can't right. do it. Well, you yeah. in it. Okay. But I mean, like, all those executions that took place in there. Yeah. I mean, well, goodness. allegedly, it's like the second most haunted place in the UK. Where's the first? What's the first? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're going to have to look that up. Uh, mm. Here, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tower of London. Every destination podcast. we go to. Well, I'm looking forward to, to going to the woods. Where do you go? I think I know where it's going to be. Potter Street Station. Yeah. Potter Street Station? What's that? Oh, well, well. It's in um, Saginaw, Michigan. Yeah. Alright. Oh, so it's like. I would. I don't know how to explain it. It's. He's. He. They both really like an American investigator called Steve Shippey. Right, yeah. Ooh. And it's one of his local. Because he, he did a lot of local Saginaw mm. stuff. And then put it on film. And right. So Finley's watched the film of it, and yeah, I think out of them all that you've watched, I, I've only that's... watched two of them. <laughs> I'd like to do the um, in Glasgow, the the tunnels, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah. Sorry, oh, why did I think? Do you know why Glasgow was doing football results before? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Edinburgh vaults. Right. I'd love to do that. Yeah. See, I, then again, we can go on and on and on. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, I look, see, I think, I've not said it before when we've done other ones, but a really interesting one too that somebody said is Vlad the Impaler's ah, yeah. the oh. castle in um, Romania. Romania, yeah. Right. And it's his castle, obviously, would be. Oh, that's be Very sinister. Yeah, oh, as a, because of the whole story and legend, yeah. it would be a... Yeah. yeah. Have you got another question you would like to ask? Uh, Before you go to sleep, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just keep on. We've got a few more hours of investigation. So, um. So my other question is, um, what's your favourite haunted building that you have been in, and why is it your most favourite? Go on, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> um. If we leave. Little streets out of it. Yeah, mm. I, I think we'll, that's one rule. Yeah, you, 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 you can always because... get in there first, though. Mm? You can always get in there first before these two by saying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think where I first saw, I seen a little girl, and that's the galleries of justice. Yeah. Oh, and okay. I seen the girl passing through. I said walking through the wall, but. She didn't actually walk. Next day, when I re was kept rethinking about it, I remember she had no legs. It was just the Ooh. upper part. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That's very concerning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my, I, I, I can't name my favourite place. You've got too many. <laughs> I can't. I think it's that's you. Yeah. Oh, for confidentiality yeah. purposes. Oh, that's in Liverpool. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. It amazing. was phenomenal. We'll tell you off here. Yeah, it's a terrible right, camera. Right, mate. Of me, like. Yeah. 
wasn't right. Goody some pie, nope. was it? Was <laughs> 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 well, well, yeah. it Bill Street? No, no. no. It, 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 you, you it was another pool. Yeah. Uh, and we done. There was quite a few of us there, wasn't there? It was. It was the, one of the strangest things that I've ever had. Um, yeah. We'd done the investigation and quite a bit happened on the night. It was indoor and outdoor. It's all I can tell you about it or no. Okay. Right. Um, and we, we had like a base room and then we had different places to go and investigate and it's never been done before, has it? No, he, he never, invites never us down to do it. Never have been done before. You got invited. There's someone who knew the people that owned it. Yeah, they're the only ones who have ever done it, aren't they? Yeah. Um, mm. But the best thing that happened was when we were leaving and the you could imagine the base room was like right at the back. Okay. And you had to walk all the way through and then you had to walk past this building. It had two great big perspex windows in. And there was a group of us in the front and you were there, Jamie. Well, yeah, I remember it well. Um, and as we got to this window, bear in mind this like, building was locked up by the girl who was with us in, you'd in say the, the window was as, as big as that wall or say as big yeah. as that wall two, wasn't two, it? two together yeah um and just as we got to that window it was like someone had punched the inside and the window and it was like that and it was like wobbling and you heard yeah. the bang and you could see the it was window a huge bang you could clearly see through it there was no one there wow but then it was the... But there was a high chair. There was yeah, high, high chair. There was table and chairs in there. And so high, there was high chairs in different bits. And one of the tables off the high chair just flew off the table straight up in the air like that and slammed down on the floor. And we all saw it happen. We just... Yeah. There was, there was no good. explanation to well, it. Six, seven of us that saw it. There was more. Could there was more. more. Because we were all going across the eye. There was wasn't there, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah. And then... Um, and I think, I think it was Lucy that had said, wasn't it? Should we go in mm. and have a look? And we were like, no, no. we'll just leave it there. Let's we'll just let it go. <laughs> and we'll and, come back. <clears throat> but the funny thing was, Jonathan, after that, Lucy rang, rang us and she said, yeah. they want us to go back because yeah. they were in work a couple of days later. And they said they had sweets. They used to have little packets of sweets, what you could buy, yeah. you know. Yeah, they, 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 like when they put the boxes of sweets on the counter, yeah. they just put the boxes yeah. on. They were all on the tables, yeah. the sweets were all, were all over the place. And then he said the cleaners were hoovering up, and the hoover went dead. And she followed it, and the, the hoover had been unplugged. And he said this was all happening in the same place. Yeah, that's as where, that where the, 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 the chair went up and everything else. Mm. And um, anyway, they wanted us to go back, and then they rang us up, didn't they, and said, no, please don't come back. And mm. um, can we please ask you not to mention where we are or anything like that, because we don't want the press to get hold of what's, what's, what's happened. Wow. Because it was that big what that happened. Like, that was like proper you, poltergeist. That's you it, could not it? explain it. None of us could explain what happened that night. So there was other things that had happened mm. in that wow. night. So that's why you can't you mention it on camera we now. We just cannot mention it. Yeah. We right. promised them we wouldn't. Yeah. And then, was it six months, two, eight months later, they contacted us again and said, do you want to come back? back to me. And we went back again. But that, that night with the window banged, the animals were going mad. They were, they were, it was a very strange thing, wasn't it? You know when you yeah. say animals can sense things, Whatever was there, these no, animals no, were no, There was um, the animal, the, 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 the pigs and that were all going wild. All the animals were going, and they were saying, they've been all nice all night. So we started, you know, going, because we'd done like around that area and they yeah. were fine. But some were banging the, 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 the sides with the hooves and everything else, weren't they? Yeah. As soon as that everything okay. happened in that room, and we, we went out to the main area where we were going to get, we were getting sorted to finish, and we were going, we, we can't go back. That, that, not tonight, we need to let it settle. Just went silent, the animals were quiet, mm -hmm. everything calmed down, everything. It was only when they contacted us, didn't they, and said... Yeah. I went yeah. back, because yeah. I didn't we went, do the we first went, one. didn't we, back again? I, I came back when you went on the second one. Yeah. We did the cottage, didn't we? And yeah, just like the little house cottage and take yeah. attached to it. Okay, and I remember all of a sudden, 
the pigs going so mad that they were trying to kick yeah. the thing mm. down. It they were metal, metal, fence metal yeah. and they were kicking at mad at the fence. And it was quite early that because you knew there was something. Mm. Mm. Wow. And I know where you went now. Yeah, how, the little house, mm. when you went upstairs, it's like no one had been up there for years and years and years. Oh, it was incredible. <coughs> um, there was old football wall. Was it oh, wallpaper? yeah. Yeah. And there was a skeleton of a bat on the window oh, there. Like Kevin Keegan. Yeah. Football oh, right. stickers. Okay. So you can you see what era it was from. Yeah. And it never been changed. We had the stones thrown, didn't we, into the room? Yeah. Yeah. And every single one was in the room. And there's no explanation for this phone. There was a couple of stones thrown into the room, wasn't there? Mm. And so we thought happened, it's it's starting again here. Yeah. This is this mm. here we go again, you know. We'll cross that off the tune with us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll cross this location off. But then we, we never after that, um they decided not to because they were gonna let groups in then he went, not after what's been happening now. Mm. Um and then we asked Lucy again about what's going on there, and she and she said everything's calmed down, but they don't they're not going to let any mm -hmm. groups in. Mm -hmm. He thought about letting groups in so they could raise funds to get things done, mm -hmm. and he decided no chance, not yeah. because they don't want to get the press involved and all that. He didn't well, they want didn't that, want to raise but they didn't the want to. Of it all. They didn't want anything to happen again. Because yeah. they got to deal with it on a daily yeah. basis. Yes. Then and yeah, there. and it was. Kids could go in there and everything else. Yeah. They couldn't go into the, the the cottage, but they could go into the other parts. Mm -hmm. And he said, "We'd rather just let it, let it, fade, leave it. you know, let it go now." Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't been back since, have we? No, mm -hmm. I'd love to. But, yeah, that was your. That was that was. I'd say that was my favourite as well. Because um, you can't then? mention Mill Street. I don't know. How did you, you have a reflection of that light there? No, check the camera because I've just seen a flash of light on there. Did you? Alright, okay. Because yeah. yeah. the torch would um, be powerful. Check enough. camera moment. Uh, yeah. Was it with the light being on? No, with the light being on, I don't think you'd notice the torch. Well, I just got a oh, flash of light on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think my um, my favourite place, I can't mention Mill Street because that is, that's, that's like off on the top because we've been yeah. here for that long. And that much and, has happened. And, the place Jonathan mentioned, yeah, that would that taps it all that one. Um, but apart from that, I think um, the ancient Ram Inn for me. Yeah, okay. I've done it twice, and the first one, it was just one of the strangest things that was going on there. That everything was going on that night. In fact, the group we went with, we there was that many things going on. We abandoned the night. Because we were supposed to stay overnight right the way through to the next morning. And I'd say two o'clock in the morning, we just went, we just can't keep going. Because yeah. these two people screamed that loud that you thought, well, it did something that happened to them. They went white. They, they, were, they were pale. They, they screamed that much. And they said they just felt something as if something was wrapping around them to pull them. Okay. So they, they said, we, we don't want to go on. And then we had this meeting. And when we had the meeting... Is um, that the other way, by yeah. the way? So, yes, yeah, so oh, my God. Right. <laughs> when, when we had the meeting, um, we all said, I think we need to stop now because this is too tense. And then we went back again, didn't we? That um, It was only about two months later we went back again. And it was more relaxed then. Which, one, which was this? Just, um, uh, not Mel Street. Ancient Ram. Oh, Ancient Ram. Right. And we went back then again, and we were in. We went in the same place, which was the barn. Um, and I had experiences in the first one in that one, and that was really strange. I had the chair shaking, and, and everything else. And when we were back yeah, in there, yeah, Teddy's going off. Did you hear some at first? Because you flicked your head round before that went off. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did. Yeah. So yeah, the. Next door, yeah. Yeah, next door. I, I was going to say it's upstairs. Yeah, no, it's next door. Yeah. You know when it's a full I am um, recording upstairs, the bedroom. The, that sounds like a bit upset. Yeah. No, don't say that. It, 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 it did. To me, it didn't sound behind me. It sounded like... It didn't sound, sound behind like, you, no. No, it sounded like... You've got me convinced it's the stairs now. I hear you agree, but I thought it was the vice-pitch. I know we've heard it a couple of times. Yeah. 
of the last time he went off and then he came back to life. Yeah. By his hip hat. By his hip hat. And that sounded like it was over there. So that side. Do you know what? It, see, like you said with Michael saying, oh, it's next door, I've just now gone to that. Oh, it's next door. But it's when I was in here before on my own, it was it was over this way, not mm. here. That was definitely so it was like, See, I thought, I thought sound was, was more... That so it's going to be interesting, doesn't it? Than that way. Mm. It yeah. seems to me, I've not, I know you said you've seen some things, yeah. Jonathan. It seems to me, you know, when you can, when you're at home and you sort of in your living room and you can sort of, somebody's about to walk in the room and you can mm. sort of feel that. It's like a weird, like energy shit. You know, when yeah. you know someone's about yeah. to walk in a room, yeah. it keeps feeling like that. Yeah. Like someone's about to just. It's funny because we've, we've done a few, few podcasts now and sometimes we, we have cat ball grounds and things like that and things go off. Yeah. But this is like, a, it, it's when we first came here, I was wow, this is so nice. You could live here and all this stuff. Mm, not I'm looking really. forward to sleeping. Oh. Yeah, we're we're still not talking about investigation today, so mm, yeah. don't worry. I'm, I've got Jonathan's car tonight, so I'm not pleased. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably in my mattress, just literally just walking my yeah. iPad. And when I hear the screen, I'll go, go That's obviously Gemma. That's <laughs> not <laughs> pretty for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> as you scream for your bed, you're grabbing into a child. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, what's that you... question then? Uh, Aubrey. Um, You've got um, a, one more question, Finlay. Um, what is your most favourite kit? Ooh, your favourite piece of kit. That's a good one. Mine at the moment is the Fender Imager. Mm. Mm. Just because we've had a lot of experience in the, the, war, the, bunker. the war bunker with yeah. it. Yeah. And I actually sent some it before all the balls lit up. That that video should be out by now. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it so, is now. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be out. It's, it's out. Yeah. So it's it, out to the week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the other week. Because the champion was spanning in the wings. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd say my own senses. Yeah. I think that's the best case. Mm. Apart from the cat balls, because it's visually good, because you know that if you go <laughs> <It's in Jonathan>. <laughs> <laughs> oh is that yours oh, sleep <laughs> <laughs> it's you lot making these footsteps over there and over there and mm -hmm. you know, well, and and whatever's there. going on upstairs. so you go on then Jonathan what's your favourite <laughs> a doll so it was the same. Um, I they're like they're anything sensory like the cat balls like the teddy bears mm -hmm. I like that I like the doll it. the doll I love it. I'm going to get it from my brother this year, I think. All right, okay. I think we're going to have to bring the doll onto the camera. So yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, so, you know, so well, well, let's go and start the show. show. Yeah. This is going to go off as I pick it up, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the doll. That we're <laughs> oh, I think that's quite good. Now we do stuff as you know with um, Nigel back over in America, Bad Ben. Um, they're making a movie at the moment, so we, we've not been doing much with them at the moment because they're busy there. And he's got exactly the same one in America, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Uh, what happened? That's so freaky, that. Yeah. Really, really freaky. But he didn't know it went off. <coughs> yeah, no. He, no, he, he didn't realise that it's any of this. He no. just got yeah. the doll. And he just has a doll show. Yeah. And there's like screens around his face. Oh, yeah, it's when he was doing a podcast or something. Yeah, I think it wasn't the very first thing we've done with him. Mm. The investigation, we were doing those things. And I had that in the hall. We didn't even know what we were doing it. Um, and we were walking him round and then we went through the hall to go to come go into the cellar and he was like Nigel was like, just turn around and what's that there? And I said, Oh it's a doll. I said it does this and I touched it and it goes off and the eyes lit up and everything. And he's like, Hang on a minute, just mm -hmm. hang on a minute. And he got his didn't he? Yeah, yeah. and it was exactly the same one. <laughs> exactly the same. He said, but he says, he doesn't even know it's on any of that. 
It's so strange. Oh, uh, and he was made up, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah but anything, moment. anything century like that where it's got to be, it's got to be touched. Mm. We had um, a guest, a lovely guest called uh, Lynn, who um, came to Champness Hall, and she had a a Tweety Pie. You know the old I don't I don't. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. She had yeah. it in a cage. It's in a cage, and it's light activated. Right. So what we did is we set it up so that we had our mag light torch, and um, when the we were getting communication through the mag light torch, it would tr- trigger Tweety Bird on, right? Mm-hmm. And it was just oh, well, the you there. saw it, didn't you? Yeah, it was, it was so good. It was so clever, but like that was something that she had lying around her house, and she was like, "I'm just going to bring it." Yeah. And see what we're, um, so we would position the mag light torch and we were asking Spirit to, you know, if you're there, can you turn the mag light to keep the torch on? And when it did, it, it was, the Tweety Bird would yeah. start moving and start oh, singing yeah. the song. It, yeah. was, in the, it was in the atrium where, yeah, it was really where it, clever. It constantly mm. going off in yeah. the atrium. Because I was like, why is this, why is she walking through with a yellow yeah, yeah. bird cage with Tweety Bird <laughs> in it? <laughs> And she was like, no, let me show you. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Right. So that was unusual. It is, it is amazing. Isn't it? And some of the stuff people bring is amazing. But we're getting more technical. I think we're getting too technical. I, yeah, I agree with yeah. that. You I know, agree. I've been on paranormal investigations with, with people. And no disrespect to them. If they want to do that, it's fine. And it's back with illuminations. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's like cars yeah. going off yeah. and not laser light walls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like yeah. a rage. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes I think if that gets triggered that's by gonna sound, go that's, that's going to go off. That's, that's going to go, go off. off. Yeah. So they're all going, oh, it's walking around. And like, oh, okay. that's that. <laughs> well, just the, best sense, the best senses you've got is yourselves. Absolutely. Both for public events. Oh, yeah. People are interested in entertaining. Sorry. No, okay, yeah. I was going to say the thing with the same cells. We can't see you, Michael, because of the lady. Yeah. Just, but, you know, pass it over to Jen. No, I don't mind. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll hug it. I'll hug it. Oh, she's going to go turn the light off. She is. This is good. I'm sliding down to the table. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we've, now we've got to stop. I didn't realise she didn't have any eyes. <laughs> yeah. like a and it's whenever you clap, she goes up. <laughs> don't, don't do it. These are paranormal investigators and they're scared of a toy. I'm not scared of <laughs> it. These, it's these two. Yeah, I'm not scared of it. I like this part. Yeah, see, I think going back to what you were saying with regards to your own senses are the best. They are the best. <laughs> no. But it's, people, people have this wanting this ability to share. Mm. And you can't share your own senses. Mm. No. You can, uh, yeah. no matter what you tell me about what's happened, I can't share that. No, I, I agree there. That's, that's and that's good, why yeah. we, as you say, we are very focused on reactive yeah. stuff because yeah. it's an ability for people to share in that experience. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. I, that, that's mm, totally and it is just, a brilliant way of explaining it. It, it is just, it's really bizarre because I don't, I don't think I can say that I've had a full on personal, mm. I've had some strange, no, we've had one or two strange things, I'll admit that. But full on personal experiences, I don't, I, I've not had, I listened to like the stories that you yeah. told us, mm. and I wasn't, I didn't grow up with any of that. Mm-hmm. I didn't have anything happen that's made me, I got interested probably by yourself, Gemma, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> by being intrigued by what talk, story you were telling me, the stories you told me. Mm-hmm. I think you're right about that because we can all sit and go, there was a light just then, and then you go, yeah, i seen it. And you're thinking, but in your own mind, not in my mind, but, you know, if I say, if you said to me, Jamie, there's a light, I go, yeah, I saw it. 
you don't know whether I'm just saying yeah, saw it just for the fun of it all, yeah. mm. and that's where it's very difficult to prove whether mm-hmm. you did see it or you didn't yeah. see it. It's only if you trust people a hundred percent that they saw it. That's it. You know, we we just saw it because yeah. that's that's the good thing with our group, isn't it? We always, if if anybody like Jane or Michelle or um, any of them in our group says, "I've just seen something there," did, and they go, "Yeah, I seen, I seen it." You know that that person you you believe oh, they're the bumper, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Some bumper, yeah. 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 That was loud. That was up there, yeah. Just one of them was caught it. Yeah, that, that was loud. Well, we're all the door. So Jonathan's doing a little bit up there. I mean, you're sleeping down here. Aren't we? <laughs> so, well, was, yeah, that was loud. Was yeah, all was, was all the doors open upstairs? Well, I thought that was the thing. He didn't sound was like close. a door. Yeah, he sounded like a fuzz on the floor. It was mm. proper thud, wasn't it? And it was over that way. If it's not next door, it was over that yeah. way. We'll, we'll check after filming. <laughs> well, I think we should start the investigation. Yeah. 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 So anybody who's watching this, once you've watched this, wait till next week and you'll see what's happened. It's building there. So shall I finish it? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. this is Junior Paranormal Events. We've had a lovely chat with the Active Paranormal guys, but mm-hmm. I think it's time for us to go and get a brew and a biscuit. Yes. Don't you? Yeah. Just to, to get fuel our I'm up for that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to get through the rest of the bit of energy. Yeah, and go and investigate what that loud thud was. Who's mm-hmm. going to go and do that? Me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that I want. You can go. No, 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 right, no, I'll go. So do it. I'm we're going to. I'm the one who goes and walks up everywhere. Eh? We're <laughs> going to go and have a brew and a biscuit, and I'm going to go investigate what that loud thud was. So, um, thanks for listening and watching. Bye. 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 Oh my God, Jamie, come on, let's pack up, let's go. Put the <laughs> podcast back. Come on, are you up for the takeover completely? I'll tell you what, Jonathan. We nearly lost it, didn't we? Didn't we just? We went there to interview them and they interviewed us. I know, what's going on? I know. I have to watch it now. I know. Especially, I, I thought Gemma would take over from us. I know. I God, do you know what? I thought she was quiet. I know. And uh, not a chance. Not a no, cat and no, chance, no, is there? No. But you know what? You've done a good uh, job. Only, was, only joking. It was funny because we've done it for the podcast. If you want to see the actual podcast, if you go over to um, Junior, Junior Paranormal. Paranormal's um, YouTube. YouTube channel, it will be on there in time. Yeah, so yeah. just go and have a yeah. watch of it. How different um, was that, though, eh? It was kind of creepy being interviewed by them, wasn't it? Hello, yeah. Do you know what? It was good, though. It was because we didn't know. Didn't know what they were asking going us. To ask us. That, no. was the, that was the dreadful part. I know. So now we know how it feels for other people and they were those. I know. <laughs> but they were good. They, Brilliant. They, they some were, good you know, questions, didn't they? Yeah, they said, yeah. you know. Don't think that you're going to be doing it all the time, by the way. <laughs> Gemma. <laughs> But it, no, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, it was um, brilliant. We had a great time. Yeah. And it was it was unusual, wasn't it? Uh, it was. Yeah. And the funny thing was, is um, Aubrey, and we've said this before, Aubrey and um, Finney oh, no, afterwards. changed the roles and done a little yeah, bit of a... Yeah. He wanted to do a little bit of a joke with us, didn't he? And I they know. turned into Access Paranormal Podcast, and we ended up <laughs> being them. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you weren't even in, in the equation. I weren't even were in the because I was away. <laughs> Yeah, even they had just sussed it. I know, yeah. But oh no, it was gosh. good. Um, it was it was nice to to um, be interviewed like that, and it brought back some memories as well, didn't it? Yeah. You know, it, it was. It's funny how something like an interview brings back things that you forget about. I know. Yeah, it was really you know, where, good. where was your favourite location, or where was the scariest location? Yeah. Oh, it, God, it didn't yeah. cross my mind, but it crossed your mind. And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was it, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was definitely yeah. that one. But you know what? They took over the show. They did. And, and all they... we got out of it was three minutes at the end. <laughs> a lot of people are probably saying thank God for that. Like, Hello. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like a protest now, getting the Junior Paranormal to do it and getting those kicked off. I know. But they can't, because we own the show. That's it. That's because we thing packed that. up and we went. Yeah. <laughs> Before they took it off us again. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, Sabotage. It yeah. They were Thanks, great. Gemma. Thanks, Michael. Finley and Aubrey. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, they've done really well. Yeah, they, they should actually do it for their own stuff as well. You they, know, should. they should. They should. Anyway, 
Thanks for giving us three minutes of our own show to say good night <laughs> to everybody. We really do appreciate it. We really did appreciate you interviewing us. Yeah. We had a cracking time with you. But it's time to go already, Jonathan. I know. So uh, from Access Paranormal Podcast and Junior Paranormal, we'll see you again next week. Good night. Good night.